What's going on with y'all? It's Jeff Lexi Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for the continued support. Continue to thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Now, the 76ers got swept out of the playoffs, man. The process is officially over. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> for like five years, felt like 50 years, the Sixers obviously tanked and came up with the number three pick once. The number three pick again. Number three pick, three. Actually, they had three number three picks because MB was a third pick. They traded the three pick to get the one pick, which ended up being Markel Fultz. And then they drafted Jaleel Okafor, the third overall pick before Porzingis. And then obviously they had the number one overall pick that they won the lottery and drafted Ben Simmons. And they had the number one overall pick, like I said previously, to get Markel Fultz. And he was a bust. And Jaleel Okafor was a bust. And uh, MB didn't play the first like two and a half years of his career. And then Simmons is good. And MB is an all star. Both of them are all stars now. But Simmons can't shoot. And MB gets hurt. But now Simmons get hurt all the time. And MB, they don't know if he loves the game like he should. And he's lazy or whatever. He doesn't work in the offseason like he should. And they just got swept. I mean, just to sum it all up, all that I just said, they just got swept. And they have almost $500 million in contracts going into next season because they signed Al Horford to 100 million million dollar deal they signed tobias harris who's just an average nba player to 180 million dollar deal they chose tobias harris over jimmy butler and then Embiid and simmons are both on 150 million dollar deals yeah this was a disaster uh the 76ers the process was a disaster they tanked all of those years and they came up with two uh one and a half good players two all-stars but that they, they don't work together uh and a bunch of bad draft picks a bunch of bad contracts. I mean, it, it's sad. It honestly is sad if you're a 76ers fan because this team has so much potential. When the whole trust the process and losing all these games for half a decade and to come up at the end of the tunnel, you know, they always say the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, the end of the tunnel was just getting swept by a team who went through its own process. They just didn't tank, right? The, the Celtics did their process once they broke up their big three and got a bunch of good draft picks. They traded back in the Markel Fultz draft and got Tatum, the best player in that draft, uh, over <laughs> over Fultz, where they could have took either one at number one, but they traded back and got the better player. And then they made good free agent signings, going out and getting Kimball Walker, uh, letting Terry Rozier go, uh, going out and getting Gordon Hayward, which he's still, you know, playing like uh, whatever, and he gets hurt all the time. But whatever, he's still a solid player. He's better than Tobias Harris. Uh, he's been better for the Ce uh, Celtics than Tobias Harris has. And then they have a great coach. Uh, Brad Stevens is just a really good coach, and so it works for them. Uh, their process actually worked. Danny Ainge knows what he's doing. You know, people can talk about any age all they want. He knows what he's doing. Um, uh, <laughs> the 76ers, they just fired Brett Brown, so that's a step in the right direction. But is Elton Brand the right guy for the job? I mean, he didn't make all of those bad decisions, but he did sign Tobias Harris over Jimmy Butler. He did do that. Uh, he did sign Al Horford, a guy who's very limited in what he can do and averaged five points per game in this playoff series to $100 million in over the next four years. So you can't get rid of these bad contracts. So they're going to be stuck for at least two years. So what can you do? Well, the only thing that you can really do is trade either Simmons or Embiid. And that really has to happen because these guys obviously don't work together. Uh, there's not enough perimeter shooting. You let J.J. Redick walk. You let Jimmy Butler walk. You, you got all these pieces that just don't work. That's the thing about basketball. Like, when you don't have a transcendent talent like a LeBron James or a, a, a Kawhi Leonard or somebody, or Kevin Durant, most of the time you have to have guys, pieces that fit, right? LeBron James can pretty much fit anywhere with anybody. Kevin Durant can pretty much fit anywhere with anybody, but there's nobody like that on the 76ers. So therefore, you have to draft pieces that fit. You have to sign pieces that fit. You don't go out and sign an Al Horford for $100 million dollars on the back end of his career. <laughs> when you have Joel Embiid that does everything Al Horford does, but just better. But now all Al Horford can do is get in the way of Joel Embiid doing what he needs to do. Not to mention Ben Simmons can't shoot. <laughs> so, I mean, the Sixers roster from the jump was a joke. And the fact that you let Jimmy Butler go down to Miami and <laughs> decided to keep Tobias Harris, and now the Heat are sweeping teams, sweeping Indiana, moving on, and Heat are a dangerous threat, not only this year to beat Milwaukee, but also for years to come because of the nucleus that they've created. I mean, <laughs> you could have had Jimmy in your locker room, kept him there, and you were at least you were competitive when Jimmy was there. 
and you let Jimmy walk and you got $500 million worth of contracts through the next four to five years, you got to trade Sim. I mean, that's the only thing because Tobias and, and Al Horford are untradeable. Like those contracts, you can't do anything with that. So Simmons and Embiid are your... You're two guys that you can move that somebody would actually want. And Simmons probably has the most trade value because he's young. But he does, now he's starting to get injured a lot. And that and that's going to scare a lot of teams. But at least you could probably get something for Simmons. If not, man, I mean, it's going to be it's gonna be a long four, next four years for the 76ers. And I feel bad for their fans, but it, it, it's sick. Uh, I hate that their organization is doing like that. And Doris Burke said it great on the broadcast. It's, I mean, you got to look down. I mean, obviously, Brett Brown had to go. I mean, there was no other way. Like, I'm sorry, his job. Like, he was going to lose his job with the way they play. But you got to start looking at presidents and guys like Elton Brand and guys in higher management because this is just a bad roster and it's going to be really bad for the next few years. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments. What do the 76ers need to do? Uh, once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. with the Ball Sports Network. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Continue to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you next time.